Enter Night is a 5.7% pilsner from Stone Brewing Company in Escondido, California. Beer and rock are no stranger to each other, and rock band and brewery collaborations aren't really scarce either. Arcadian Motorhead and Who Can Forget, Kid Rock's Badass Lager, just to name a few local examples. So into the picture steps Metallica and Stone, or as they state on the label here, Arrogant Consortia, and they come together for Enter Night Pilsner. So speaking of labels, Let's talk about this one. Fun fact, the Black Album is the best-selling album in the United States since Nelson Music started tracking albums in 1991. They've sold 16.4 million copies. So Stone sent this to me, no charge. I'm uh, giving them a fair and honest review. They didn't review this, you know, they didn't review this video before it went out. They didn't tell me what to say. This is fair and honest. I'm gonna be as honest as possible. But looking at this box that they sent me, uh, it was pretty cool, pretty big surprise. I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna pull the beer out, I'm gonna show an overhead, but I'm gonna open it and close it really quickly because it plays part of Enter Sandman and I don't wanna get struck for any kind of copyright violation or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it's just a pretty cool box. You flip it open, it has this poster here and these cans. They sent me three cans and I'm gonna set this box to the side. It's this really cool flat black, matte black label. It says uh, Enter Night Pilsner. It has the stone gargoyle, but he has a little bit different of a face on him. Maybe it's about the same, but he's got a bit of a different angle. It's these two speakers with some sound coming off of them. I will uh, obviously be showing you a close up. And on the back here, it says in collaboration with Metallica on the side, it says it's on. Stone likes to put some very verbose labels here, but it says it's on. It's time to get started to crank things up to get loud. That thumping you feel in your chest isn't your imagination, it's your heart. It's life, it's the rockin' tunes. It's your inspiration wanting to break out. It ain't gonna sit there still waiting. I'm not gonna read the rest, but I'll put it up on the screen. Maybe I'll have it on the side here so you can read the whole thing if you'd like. It has the independent craft beer logo here, but you're here to hear what I have to say about this beer. I didn't even try to rhyme that, so I'm gonna grab my glass here. And the date on the bottom here, uh, this was canned on December 5th, 2018, which at the time of this, I'm recording this on Sunday, the February 24th, so it's about two months. This is a Pilsner, it has a little bit longer of a life. They stayed here in Joy by May 4th, 2019, so that's giving it about a six month window to to, to try it and enjoy it. But the I just the label's really cool. It, has, it says Enter Night Pilsner, and it's in this Metallica kind of font. And uh, yeah, so I'm kind of looking forward to trying, you know, what this is all about because um, I kind of heard that this was coming out but didn't know much about it. So I'm gonna open it up, smell it out of the can. It is a Pilsner, it's, like I said, it's it's kind of a lower ABV, it's a 5.8%. Let's get a nose out of the can here. It has a really good scent, it has a nice kind of uh, crisp, crisp kind of Pilsner scent. Let's go ahead and pour this. Coming out really light out of the can. It's got a really light, nice head. Very clear. Head is very thick. Uh, maybe about, well, probably about three fingers. I try to pour it a little bit more aggressively. A lot of carbonation kind of floating up from the bottom. Let's go ahead and pour it a little bit more now that the head subsided a little bit. But yeah, I had about a three fingers worth of head. Right off the get-go, I had a little bit of a technical difficulty there. But yeah, so the carbonation's coming up. The head's really nice, it's really fluffy. It's got a really nice kind of light color to it, really bright white. And holding it up to the light here, that's entirely see-through. There is no, no haze whatsoever. Totally filtered, nice carbonation. Let's get a better nose out of the glass here. It has a nice kind of crisp Pilsner smell. Let's go ahead and have a taste, cheers. That's got a lot of flavor to it. I was not expecting to have nearly that much flavor. If you've ever had something from Stone, you know <laughs> when you've had a Stone beer that it's a Stone beer because it has this really uh, bitter hop 
or I'm sorry, hoppy kind of strain, or I, I want to say a hoppy mixture that they use. It's got this really biting, bitter, uh, piney, piney, bitter taste, hoppy taste at the end. And that's just really, wow, that's just really different from most Pilsners. So you think of a Pilsner as being like a Bud Light or a Budweiser or a Miller Light or a, a, a Michelob or something like that. And I just threw Michelob out there. Uh, and that's when you do these, when that, when I see these band collaborations and their lagers or their Pilsners, which are a type of lager, that's what I think. I think it's going to be light. It's something you can just drink and throw back. And I don't equate that with having a lot of taste. This has a lot of taste. It's got a nice... kind of upfront sweetness, uh, like you'd expect from a Pilsner, but then again, on that tail end, on that finish, it just comes through in this crisp, uh, hoppy, piney, bitter taste at the end. It's really kind of biting. It's kind of, um, it's just not a taste that I'm used to, to getting from, from a Pilsner. It just has this really biting taste at the end, and it's a really refreshing and really uh, welcome change of pace from normal Pilsners. It's not overly sweet. It takes my it took it took a few drinks to be honest for my palate to kind of maybe accept or pick up some more of that uh, more of that hoppy taste on a pilsner, but now that I've had it, it's I can totally see where they're going with this. Metallica picked a really good brewery to pair up with and I have to think that that Metallica reached out to Stone. I don't know if it was the other way around. I honestly don't know how the collaboration came together or who decided who to who to work with who, but it just works out. It it puts a spin on the Pilsner, on a normal Pilsner, a normal everyday kind of rock and roll, you know, kind of Pilsner. You'd think tailgating before a show you're probably going to drink a few beers. This would be a perfect beer to drink at a tailgate before a Metallica concert, at a Metallica concert, because it just has this kind of biting, just a, not abrasive, but just this different personality to it. I'm not a huge Metallica fan. I'm not, I, I can't name more than a couple of their songs, to be honest, or maybe a couple of their albums. Uh, I don't really listen to them on my, in my spare time, but this would be a beer that I think I would actually try in my spare time. And that's saying a lot considering it's a Pilsner and I'm not a huge Pilsner fan. I think, I, I personally, I kind of think the whole Pilsner thing's overdone just because it's Bud Light and all the different, you know, macro beers that most people think of are Pilsners. Uh, but a craft Pilsner of this quality, they don't come around all that often, unfortunately. All right, friends, that has been Enter Night Pilsner from Stone. Have you had this? Does the collaboration with Metallica really do anything for you to pick this up? What's the best music slash beer collaboration that you've had? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, you can check out links to Stone's website for more info or links to some draft therapy gear, merch, social media, more reviews. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.